Harper has stopped all 13 San Diego shots that have come his way. That blast got blocked by Gauden. Maybe some friendly fire and it deflects in a crazy carom. Ends up in the back of the net. And San Diego leads off the scoring. 13-28 left in period two. They say it went off the legs of Gauden. Yeah, it was about five feet wide. And then it was like a pinball. Deflect back towards the net. Stauber wasn't expecting that. It wasn't wasn't even close to the save that he was going to have to make, but that's why you put pucks at the net. Yeah, the Hogs failed to clear there. The puck was going to go to the corner to be okay. Cannot be held in by Parrott. Stauber has to come out of his net to play it. And he handles it away, and then Stauber out of position, gives it up, and San Diego scores. Uh, he ran into the fort He ran into their guy in front of the net, um, King, and I'd like to... I'd like to see that one again. All smiles for Braden Tracy as he nets his second goal of the weekend for a goal. Yeah. Yeah, I don't blame him. Roos left point. And then Jordan has it forced off of his stick. Here comes Jacob Perot pivoting in. Perot back door and a score. Just like that, it's 3-0. San Diego rolling here again. Chase DeLeo able to knock it ever so gently into the back of the net, but what a play by Perot. So you got to know who you're on the ice against. You can't turn pucks over in those areas with those skilled guys out there. They'll burn you every time. You get them odd man rushes, and the difference is they're skating. They're moving their feet on the rush. DeLeo gets his third goal of the year. He had three assists in last night's game. Look at Perot. Operating in tight, delays just long enough, Del Master. And I think back to that October 27th game against Iowa in which Rockford won that game 6-2. Wide open, Caulfield moves in, and the puck goes around behind the net, and it's knocked in. San Diego scores to make it 4 nothing. I'm not sure who got that goal. I think it might be a professional first. It is Tyson Hines who scores it, and it is Hines first as a professional hockey player. The goals make sure to keep that puck, and it's four zip with 8.06 left in period three. Yeah, it's just too easy. There are too many people had the puck here, and nobody hit anybody. You know, we didn't back check. They had numbers up. I think our forwards got caught hoping that, you know, hoping that somebody's going to win a battle for the puck and give them an easy scoring chance, but we're not going to score that way. Got to be all hands on. Which was, last night was unacceptable. And, I mean, tonight isn't 7 to nothing, but it's 4 nothing, And that would fall into that unacceptable category as well. Yeah. Now the Ice Hogs score. Logan Nyhoff tips it in, and Rockford's finally on the board. Nyhoff gets his second goal of the season. It is his second AHL goal. And that's just a shot from the point, traffic and tip in front. We win a battle for the puck, make a good play, and like I said, right now this is the way this team's got to win, is just being the greasy. Del Mastro had the shot from the blue line, and Nyhoff was able to beat Tomas Tukanik for the first time this weekend. Good, leave him on the ice. There's that fourth line. To Stauber to the bench. Extra man on the ice. This gets whacked down, Jeez. and they score just like that. Did I say don't pull the goalie? Oh, good call. Stauber hustled to the bench. It was backhanded down the ice by San Diego on a clear, and it goes down as a shorthanded goal for the goals. Have to make. Do you know your faceoff guy? Is he winning a lot of faceoffs? Uh, the chances are you're going to win it. So, well, the Hawks you know, did win that face.